Hello out there to you. In this video, we're going to think about the implications of a price floor and price ceiling, especially when the government comes in and, and guarantees that they'll purchase the excess surplus. Okay, Sometimes that's called a price support policy with a government guarantee to purchase. So we've got this market here. Uh, if the government leaves it alone, equilibrium price will be $10, quantity will be $55. Uh, there's the supply, there's the demand. And dotted lines, the way you read that is just $7. Just follow that over here, and that's where it hits the supply, and that's where it hits the demand. So when it says find the surplus, okay, so a price floor is a law that says it's uh, illegal to charge any less than whatever they say it is. So in this case, it's $7. So any price above $7 is, is legal. Um, and so that means that $10 is legal. And at $10, there'll be no uh, surplus of units. So the, the answer that they want here is zero. Now, if, if they said total surplus, then there you would calculate the consumer surplus plus the producer surplus. Um, there we kind of need to know where does this hit the, um, the y-axis and where does this hit the x-axis. Um, but if, say, this was, it's looking kind of like, this isn't drawn to scale. So we really do need to know where that is. Um, and that looks like it's probably a, eh, it's probably 20. We could work out the slope if we knew, if we knew where that would hit. Yeah, I guess, I guess we could figure it out there. Uh, but it'd be right around there. It's not, not important to know for the problem. Price ceiling of $12. This means it's not legal to charge any, um, price ceiling. Not legal to charge any higher than $12. So any price below $12 is going to be legal. And uh, so the quantity the quantity demanded is just going to be the equilibrium. So this case it would be 55. Um, sometimes I get a question, why, why do we call these price floors and price ceilings when the floor is um, set lower and the, the ceiling is set higher? Well, it's, it's just to how you're looking at it. So here's the little person and they're looking up at the ceiling. And then if they were standing on the floor, you can't go any lower than the floor. Okay. All right. Back to problems because the meat of the problem is actually over here. Um, price ceiling of $7. Find the quantity demanded. So just follow this. You can draw a line right on your graph. $7 over to 45. Um, that's the quantity supplied, but then follow this all the way over here. Uh, that's 65. That means 65 units the, uh, the buyers want to buy. Okay, price floor of $15. Find the surplus. Okay, so we're going to go $15. Follow this over. Here. So the consumers are going to be where it hits the demand curve. So the consumers are going to be 35. And then the sellers are going to want to sell the difference, which is 80. So uh, that's 45, so 45 units. So really it's the difference between quantity supplied and quantity demanded. So just find the difference. So in this case, it was this was 80, and then this was 35. This is the excess units. So, so now we know what the surplus is going to be. We've got the government guaranteeing to buy it at $15. So all we need to do is just say that the government needs to buy those 15 units, sorry, 45 units at $15 each. So it's $675. So 600 and government will spend $675 to purchase the surplus. And then uh, the different sort of question, when the price ceiling of $7 is imposed, find the black market price. So what's gonna happen if at $7, because the sellers only want to sell 45 units. The buyers at that price will want to buy 65. But the sellers, some of the sellers will recognize, oh, for 45 units, there's some people willing to pay $12 for those, those units. So the black market price is going to be wherever that level of demand is for those units. It's $12 would be the black market price. It says, finally, besides the formation of a black market and shortage of multivitamin pills, give another unintended consequence of a binding price ceiling on the market. Okay, so uh, there's a couple. Okay, so these are, these are other, other things that might happen. So one is the quality might go down. 
um, the firms that sell them might not want to invest in as much quality. And then the if if this is like pill bottles, they can just make the bottles smaller. Okay. And finally, they could add on sometimes called tying. They can tie on the purchase of something else. So like you have to buy I don't know a five dollar bottle of Gatorade to get the cheap pills or something like that. Okay. So um, big big one here. You just want to think about what is the surplus. Multiply the surplus by fifteen dollars, and that tells you how much the government's going to spend in order to to do that subsidy.